Which one do you think it is, guys? Take a vote. Real Left partner. or right? One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. What are we gonna do if they attack? Put our head between our legs and kiss our ass Let's goodbye. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? Probably not. That's a really shitty barricade. We are alive. Android graffiti, it's pretty fucking sweet. I like it. Well, well, Agent Poopkins. So what do you want, king of douchebaggery? Just say the word and she'll be spared. Don't make us kill the girl. <laughs> I'd rather die here and betray my people. You just signed your own death warrant. Do androids get death warrants? Yeah, fuck you too. Where the hell do you think you're going? Bathroom. My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. Dick. I can save you, Kara. Kara. Oh, look, A-line haircut behind Rose. You see her? So she made it on the bus after all. Whoa! Did you see that? <laughs> her face was all fucked up. Tell them that we are people too. Oh shit. It's good to see you again. I hope you will make the right decisions. Wait a minute. There's right decisions? There's right and wrong decisions? Bitch, nobody told me that! Oh wait, no, it's- it's your story, and I have to put it together. Correct? She's still on full derp mode, she's kind of freaking out, uh, uh, uh. Are you okay? I think there's something wrong in my program. Maybe I should reset. No, don't do that. She becomes more and more distressed the more you progress through the game. She's really starting to lose it. She's so confused. I feel so bad for her. <laughs> now the conclusion. I don't know how long it's gonna take to beat the game. I think this will be the last part. If not, I'm gonna... It'll be one more part after this, we'll just have to find out. Just depends on how much dilly-dallying I do, or how much other things I show to you. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! Those don't look like- I guess not all cars are self-driving in the future. Maybe some people prefer to drive. I don't know, but there's a lot of cars that are normal looking. Right, that should do it. <laughs> I all know that's not gonna stop them. <laughs> Shut up, Simon. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. A little deja vu again. Oops. They don't need heat, but I think they just like heat. They like to feel alive. That's my theory about the whole fire thing. Are you alright? They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared I... I don't want to shut down. See, he's kind of like a newborn baby, that guy. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here. That's a really shitty barricade. They need more. More rubble or whatever. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on.
Alive. I like alive. Prisoners 2 is good, but... We are alive! Oh! Android graffiti. It's pretty fucking sweet. I like it. Holograms. Holo people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. We know this. Humans suck. Humans suck a dick. We get it, game. We really do. <laughs> Holographic flag. That's pretty cool looking. I'm gonna go mount it on something. This is the calm before the shitstorm. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. I lost all contact with the people at the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. Hmm. Maybe they just can't get through. Scrambled our network? They can do that? Oh yeah, she said all electronic communication's been restricted. I hoped they would finally understand. That they would realize how much they're hurting us. Why do they refuse to see what we are? Because they're stupid. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. At least she doesn't resent me for doing options that she doesn't approve of, but... Not that I care. <laughs> I know, I talk so much shit about North. It's at least she is supportive to him in his final decisions, but that's only because she loves him. Stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. Put our head between our legs and kiss our ass That's goodbye. The only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? Probably not. We can only count on ourselves now. Right. <laughs> Fatalistic much? Marcus! Marcus, come look! Well, well, Agent Poopkins. Marcus! Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. His word. I won't try anything. Mm-hmm. I trust him. It's a trap. It's a trap? They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. But you can still strangle me with your tie. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. What, no thumbs down from North? So what do you want, King of Douchebaggery? In a few minutes troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. He looks so real. It's pretty you can incredible. Avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but... Detained? None of you will be destroyed. Oh, really? 
Really? What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. So we can still You're trust it. you. You're the last remaining deviants. So why would you bother taking us alive? I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to... really... care about her. More of Simon, you but... You to die, do you? <sighs> That's low, you, you son know, of a you bitch. You could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could... start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. <laughs> but we're gonna be detained. How is that Our gonna work? Your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. Don't make us kill the girl! <laughs> you asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. <laughs> You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. Nope. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. Do androids get death warrants? Yeah, fuck you too. You'll be detained. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. You could start a new life. All that shit does not compute together. Mm -mm. So fuck that guy. Fuck his offer. What happened, Marcus? What did he say? He said, you'll be spared if I surrender. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. At least we're free, even though we're dead. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution. Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. No shit. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this! Forget about me! Do what you have to do! I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. <laughs> but I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. God, they like to say that a lot, save don't they? Are you going to life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right. All right. Hank's my buddy, dude. You win. Here we go. Connor versus Connor. This is awesome. I think I'm the- yeah, I'm this one. With the yellow light. Oh shit! I had to itch my nose. <laughs> Look at him hopping around. Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him, we have no time to lose. Which one do you think it is, guys? Hey, Take a vote. Left Connor. or right? One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? You'll know in a minute, but still. What are you doing, Hank? I want to see what you guys think. I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of you. I think it's obvious now. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where do we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He 
you uploaded my memory. Yeah, so none of this would work matter, my would dog's it? dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I Sumi knew that too. I knew that too. I. My son. What's his name? Cole. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. Now you're gonna finally hear his story. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- Shut up. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. It still doesn't make a whole lot of sense why he hated androids, though. He should have hated humans, not androids. The android's not responsible for his son's death, he said it himself. I don't know. David Cage tries to follow cliches, but put his own take on it, but it's just cliches that usually don't make a lot of sense because they're cliches. But whatever. Wake up, cop! And I guess since these are all prototypes, they can do wake the up. same. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Grab a brush and put a little makeup. Hide the scars and fade away the shake up. Why'd you leave the keys upon the table? There you are, create another people. You wanted to. Grab a brush and put a little makeup. Wake up. Wake up. Grab a brush and put a little makeup. That's a song by System of a Down, for those of you who don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Hell yeah! Yeah, they couldn't think it'd be that easy. No way. This way, please. Screwed. They're doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Kara? Next, please. Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. We can't get through, Kara. Kara! <laughs> Think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Kara. No. Kara, no. No, we'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. It's in front. French, oh. Jerry? Jerry! 
You risked your life to save us, Carl. Heidi? If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. <gasps> I know him. Jesus, right in front of everybody. I think they would detain him, not to, so they wouldn't scare the shit out of everybody. Fuck. If I remember right, A-line haircut is somewhere in this building. Bathroom? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. Dick. I'm sorry I'm so quiet once again. Oh, I'm steering her wrong. But, you know, this is, like I said, very emotional. Clim climactic. I wonder why they gave androids the ability to cry. I saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Thank God you're all right. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. Rose. Be safe with him. Bless her heart. <sighs> I wonder if Rose knew that Alice is an android. All those times that Luther tried to tell her, I kept saying, like, just say it! Alice is an android! Take you two seconds. She's an android! Guess he didn't want to spring it on her. She might go into shock or something. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. <laughs> I think her little gesture was kind of cute. <laughs> Let 
Moment of truth. Sacrifice myself, Luther, Jerry, or no sacrifice. No sacrificing. Next, please. Whoa, the game's really getting choppy. Uh-oh. I've never seen it do that before. That's strange. ID, please. Now, only if Marcus does peaceful protest and public opinion is high enough. He looks at the TV, depending on what's happening on there and what, how the public feels about androids. Welcome to Canada. Oh, <laughs> we made it. I was so happy when I first played this. We fucking did it, guys. Yay! I cried when he said that. Welcome to Canada. I was like, oh, I thought for sure we were going to get our asses blown up. Yay. That's only if Marcus does a peaceful protest and if the public opinion of androids is not beneath. Oh, look, A-line haircut behind Rose. You see her? So she made it on the bus after all. Or that's just another character model. I think someone, someone in the comments said they thought that she was a... Uh, an android spy. She might be onto News something Bulletin there. To bring you the latest news or he. Live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. What a weird name, the Joss. The has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. This is the climax. North! I just gotta do whatever I can to save as many of my people as possible. Put the weapon away. This is a tough decision. Kiss North, sing, sacrifice. gonna sing thanks Michael back to you in the studio w w w wait a minute something's happening hold on just a little while longer hold on just a little while longer god I love this song Hold on just a little while longer Everything will be alright Everything will be alright oh. I don't think Marcus is actually singing that, but whatever. <laughs> Just a little while longer 
fight on just a little while longer. Pray on just a little while longer. Incredible. Everything the, the deviants. The deviants are singing. Fighting back tears right now. <laughs> yep, I got a couple tears. Just a little while longer. Damn! Can we get a standing ovation for that performance of the androids? Tell them to stand down. Thank you! For fuck's it sake. It looks like... Yes, the military is withdrawing. Maybe if we just sung from the beginning, they wouldn't have attacked us? <laughs> we just sung our demands, sung what we wanted? Today, November 11th, 2038. Thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviants' cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. It only took you this long to One figure that out? Certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. But to hell with the rest of the world, because America is the only continent, the only country in the world, right? Just kidding. Oh my God, dude. Woo! The feels. It. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. What happened to Connor's tie? <laughs> he was wearing one. Maybe it fell off during the fight with the other Connor. Speak to them, Marcus. I'd rather be holding Simon in my arms <laughs> next time. <laughs> God damn, that's a lot of androids. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Uh oh. <laughs> He's cold. He never gets cold. Amanda? Amanda? What's... 
Maybe it's because he's a deviant now that he's What's cold. What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Say what? Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! I thought my mission was to stop deviants, not turn into one. That's the only uh, big pet peeve people have with this game is depending on your choices. She'll say, oh, this was planned all along. She should have said this was one of the many outcomes that we planned. Oh. Remember him saying that before? Oh, shit. I almost forgot where it's located. An emergency exit in my programs. Kamsky knew, I think he knew what was gonna happen. And tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. Oh shit. In fact, we're a nation. No, that's not gonna happen, Amanda. Fuck you. <laughs> He's dying. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans He's okay. <laughs> and our oppressors and tomorrow we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now we are free. Yay! Look how they're all standing perfectly still. That's the only- it's like- it looks weird. It looks kind of like they're all frozen in place there. I thought it was a glitch, but I guess they couldn't afford animating them to all raise their hands up. They've done it before. <laughs> they're just like, yay! There's only a couple in the very front kind of swaying and moving. See, I don't know if that's a glitch or what. What do you think? I think they're supposed to all be moving, but they never do. And I've beaten this game several dozen times now. Maybe not several dozen, but I'd say a couple dozen times. Whoa! Did you see that? <laughs> Her face was all fucked up. It's over, Alice. We're free. They made it! Yay! But what the fuck? Why can't Luther join in on the group hug? I don't like that. Only if Kara doesn't make it does Luther get a hug. I don't like that. They should all be hugging each other. He's just standing there like... <laughs> wishing he was being hugged. Oh, fuck you, game. You know, if they could patch and change anything, that would be one thing. Change it to where uh, Luther gets in on the hugging, please. Please, game devs. Because that's kind of screwed up. I think that just kind of... Maybe it's because there's an option where he might not be with it. So anyway, guys, that's Detroit. We beat the game. Hooray! I can't skip any of this, but I'm not going to because I want to talk a little bit about it. But um, I hope you enjoyed it, because I sure as hell did. And there's so many more, so much more shit that you didn't get to see that I'm thinking about doing like a compilation of other outcomes or something. That'll be fun to put together periodically. But you can always go to these channels. I'll put a link or a card in, uh, somewhere to, if you guys want to see all the outcomes. There's a lot. There is a playlist with, you know, every outcome, every dialogue. But I can show you some of my favorites later. So, I might, might be talking too loud because I got the volume up so high so I can't hear myself talk. So, I think from what I've seen that Kamsky knew exactly what was going to happen. In fact, I believe he orchestrated it. But I don't really understand the whole thing with Amanda saying, this is what we planned from the beginning, we're going to resume control of your program. I guess 
that means that Cyberlife knew they needed someone to become one with the Deviants, get the upper hand, and then take control of Connor, and then Connor could destroy the leader of the Deviants, but I don't see how that would undo all the shit that they already did. Maybe by resuming control of him, they resume control of all the androids? I have no idea. Some of this shit just does not make sense, but... I think at that point, they overlooked certain things because it took years and years to write this. Apparently, it was several thousand pages worth of script. They had several writers, and it took a long time to get everything just right. But no, nobody's perfect. Nobody can make a perfect game. People talk so much shit about this game, but I could talk a whole lot more shit about Beyond Two Souls, which I'm thinking will be... I want to see what you guys think. One more vote. What do you guys want me to play next as far as a David Cage game? Because I would love to show you. I could either play Heavy Rain, which I consider a better game, but it's not quite as good as Detroit, but it's better than Beyond Two Souls. Or I could play Beyond Two Souls. Uh, those are the only two I have right now. But I also have Until Dawn, I've got The Walking Dead games, all that stuff, and I know I can periodically play those. But what do you prefer to see next? Do you want to see Heavy Rain or do you want to see Beyond Two Souls? So maybe take a vote. Or even just tell me in the comments. It'd be easier if you voted though, because then I can determine who, you know, what's easier. So that was the game and uh, it was roughly mm, 10 to 11 hours, but the first time I played it, it took me about 30 because I was doing, like, exploring a lot and doing a lot more things and seeing a lot more outcomes. See, that was an outcome just now, where if you fuck up, that android will blow his own head off. And if you piss him off, he'll blow off Connor's head, too. So this is where I can go into spoiler territory now. Apparently, uh, the model that Alice is, an android that is, you know, a child, is programmed to have fevers or colds so that people can um, nurture them. That's why she always had a fever. It's kind of strange. You can't feed her, you can't really take her to school, but she can have a cold or a fever. Okay. Oh, uh, this is my other favorite scene. Connor and Hank. At that little hangout that he liked to go to. The city's still in shutdown, though. Come here, son. Oh man, do I love that scene. That hug is so wholesome. Love it. So that's the reason Alice could have colds. Todd bought a child droid to replace his, the daughter that he lost. He bought a nanny bot to take care of the house. I don't know if that particular bot is meant to be a sexual partner, but according to the Kara film, it was. But I think they dropped some of that stuff. So I can skip the credits here, and I think I'm going to, so that we can see something that's very important. This is the coolest part of the game, in my opinion. One of the best parts. Before you see that, though, you get to see all the many, 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 many choices of the last chapter. The androids woke up. Kara, Alice, and Luther made it all the way to the border. God damn. And at the Freedom March, Marcus and the Revolution succeeded, and androids won freedom for the moment. That's a lot. Here goes. There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel... I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Wow. Do you agree to let me go? One more vote. Would you guys let her go? Or would you tell her to stay, because you like her too much? I'm letting her go. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. She walks off screen, and then we never see her again. And it's saved onto your hard drive, so the menu looks like this for the rest of your playthroughs, unless you delete the game save. Isn't that incredible? She's free! 
Which I love, but I admit, I missed her. I missed her little quotes, I missed her interactions, so what the game developers did was a patch and brought back a new Chloe. And some people said, well, that just cheapens it, that takes away the whole setting Chloe free thing. And yeah, I agree with them, but I wanted Chloe back so much, but I kind of regret it now because on my main file, where Chloe is back in the main menu, she doesn't act at all like the way the first one did. She just kind of says, welcome to the Detroit experience. And she talks about the quotes that she would say. Sometimes she would sing that Hold On song. But other than that, unless you uh, do certain interactions in the game that you've never done before, she'll mention those, but that's it. Once she does it once, you never get to see them again. So the patch got rid of all that and that was so fun. I'm so glad you guys got to finally see that. Before I end the uh, the game, uh, let's do this. I don't know if, I, if I've done it already. If I have, I'm gonna cut here and do it with you. Who's your favorite character in Detroit? Maybe I'll make another survey that you guys can do along with me, because I'd like to see what you guys think. Who's your favorite character in Detroit? Car Connor, Kara, or Marcus? For me, it's Connor out of the three, even though I love Kara. What was the- was there a moment in Detroit that resonated with you personally? I said many, actually, but... What was the toughest choice you faced in Detroit? Accepting Alice's identity, being pacifist or violent with Marcus, or deciding to shoot Chloe with Connor. These two were easy for me, actually. Or the, uh, the deciding to shoot or accepting Alice's identity, those were easy, so... None of these were... Tough choices, in my opinion. So I picked this one. And the majority, I'm best- I guess I'm with the majority. I'm gonna go to an alternate save so we can do the other survey together. Great. This is a Let's start. separate file, which is why Chloe's back. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? If it looked like Connor, absolutely. <laughs> Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? I thought definitely, especially after if playing you had this to game. Live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Instrument, that's easy. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Uh yeah. What technology do you most anticipate? I thought androids. It took me a minute cuz I like a lot of those. Do you believe in God? No. <laughs> Would you let an android take care of your children? After I played the first chapter, I was like, no, but I think I would say don't know. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? A shit ton. Way more than four hours a day. <laughs> if you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? I actually was operated on by a machine. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? They already have. So here's all my answers and the answers that others have too. And if you guys want to take the quiz as well, I have, I've actually uploaded or made a survey on SurveyMonkey so you guys can participate too if you want to see, if you want to try it yourself. So that wraps up Detroit Become Human, the first Let's Play, which was like the happiest ending, but there's a lot more interesting stuff to see and a lot more stuff to talk about. I'm going to upload a lot more videos and Let's Plays. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I had. Thanks for watching, guys. Do another video. Do another video. Do another video.